Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about the graphs of polynomials. Can you still remember Cartesian plane? We remember that it's named after the mathematician René Descartes. It is defined by two perpendicular number lines, the x-axis, which is the horizontal, and the y-axis, which is vertical. Using this axis, we can describe any point in the plane using an ordered pair of numbers. And yung origin natin, which is the center of the uh, Cartesian plane, has a coordinate or an ordered pair of 0, 0. A point in the Cartesian plane has an ordered pair, 1, 4. So your 1 represents the values of x, and then 4 represents the values of y. In the study of the graph of a polynomial function, the points where the graph passes through the x-axis are very important. These are the x and the y-intercepts. The points where the graph passes through the axis are very important. Points on the x-axis are called x-intercept. This means x0, 8, 0, and negative 2, 0 are called x-intercepts. How many x-intercepts are there? So in this given example, there are three x-intercepts. So remember, yung x-intercept natin nakapatong siya sa x-axis. So we have 1, 2, and then 3. What are the other names for x-intercepts? So ito dapat niyong tatandaan. What, they are, what are the other names? Tawag din dyan is roots. We also call it values of x x-intercept, zeros. Points on the y-axis are called y-intercepts. So, ito naman yung mga points na nandoon lang nakapatong sa ating y-axis. This means 0y. Ibig sabihin yung y nyo can be any value, pero yung x nyo is 0. 0, 12, 0, negative 11. How many y-intercepts are there? So, kung titingnan natin, there are two y-intercepts. So, ito, at saka ito. How do we solve for the x and the y-intercepts? Example number 1. Find the intercepts of y is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus 8. So first step is you factor the polynomial completely. And this one has been discussed in the previous topic. Going back to first grading, nandoon yun, makikita nyo may mga lesson tayo ng factoring ng polynomials. Pwede nyo balikan. So to make it short, Ang factor ng ating polynomial function is y is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 4. Using this, you equate each factor to 0 and then solve for x. So, yung una natin na x plus 1 equal to 0 yan. Yung x plus 2 na isang factor equal to 0. And then, yung x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, the next step daw is for us to solve for x. So, all you need to do, transpose yung positive 1, transpose yung positive 2, at transpose in yung negative 4. Makukuha nyo na yung values ng x natin. x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to negative 2, and x is equal to positive 4. Remember that we are looking for the x-intercept. So, sa x-intercept, ang x mo may value at ang y mo naman ay 0. So, the x-intercepts in this polynomial function are negative 1, 0, 
negative 2, 0, and positive 4, 0. So, pag renaf or pag plinat natin yung mga points, ito siya. Okay, finding the y-intercept is very easy. Remember, sa y-intercept, ang may value lang ay y at ang x nyo ay 0. So, in the polynomial function given earlier, your x will be equal to 0. So, substitute nyo yung value sa x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus 8. So, magiging 0 na lahat ng x nyo. Ang matitira na lang is your constant term. At dito, ang constant term natin yung negative 8. So, yung y-intercept natin or value of y natin is negative 8. So, to make it a y-intercept, yung x gawin yung 0. Tapos, yung value ng y is the y-intercept negative 8. So, this means the graph will pass through 0. So, ito na yung magiging itsura ng ating points. So, makikita nyo dito sa x-axis yung ating mga x-intercept, 1, 2, 3. At yung y-intercept, kasi nga, nandun siya sa y-axis, isa. Okay, this time, let's go to turning point. So, ito yung mga liko-liko ng ating graph. The end behavior is the behavior of the graph of a function at the far end or the far right. The end behavior depends on the degree and the leading coefficient. The end behavior of your graph refers to uh, the direction of your endpoints, yung dulo ng inyong graph, kung saan siya papunta. Whether pareho bang pataas, kagaya ng dalawang red na makikita nyo dito, or pareho bang pababa, or yung isa ba ay magpo-fall sa left at magra-rise sa right, or magra-rise ba or paakit ba siya sa left, or pababa siya pagdating ng right. So, ito yung kailangan yung tandaan. And then, kindly screenshot din yung ating table para magamit nyo. So, iti-check nyo muna ang una is your leading coefficient. Ngayon, yung leading coefficient nyo ba, is it positive? Or yan ba ay negative? So, kung leading coefficient nyo ay positive at ang degree ay even, so, yung, yung direction ng dalawang dulo ng inyong graph is parehong pataas. So, up, up. Rising on the left, rises also on the right. Ngayon, kapag ang leading coefficient nyo naman ay negative, ibig sabihin yung number na nasa unahan ng polynomial function ay negative at ang degree niya ay even. Ano ba yung mga even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8. So, yung direction ng inyong graph, yung kanyang dulo-dulo, yung dulo ng, ng behavior ng inyong graph is parehong pababa. So, magpo-fall siya sa left at magra-rise, sorry, magpo-fall din siya sa right. Now, if your leading coefficient naman is positive at ang degree niya ay 3 o kaya 5 or 7 or 9, okay, ang direction niya naman ay Sa left side, babagsak, pero sa right side siya tataas. If your leading coefficient is negative, at ang degree niya naman ay odd numbers, like 3, 5, 7, 9, okay, yung direction nung nasa left side ay galing sa taas or magra-rise sa, sa left side, tapos babagsak naman siya sa right side. So, kindly take note of this table kasi very useful siya. Let's go to the turning points. Turning points are the points where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing function, value, or vice versa. The number of turning points in the graph of a polynomial is strictly less than the degree of the polynomial. Remember, yung degree nyo, that's the highest exponent. So, ang gagawin nyo lang ay minus 1. 
para malaman nyo kung ilan yung kanyang turning points or yung pagbukuli ko. We must note that, sabi dito, a quartic function have an odd number of turning points. At most, ang pwede niyang turning points ay 3. So when you say quartic, from the word quart, apat. Okay, that the highest um, exponent is 4. Pagdating naman sa kintik functions, the degree is 5. Ang kanyang turning points at the most is 4 turning points. So, minus 1 now. The number of turning points is at most n minus 1. Behavior of the line in the x-axis. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng behavior ng line sa ating x-axis? Okay, so, yung behavior of the line, in, of, uh, of our line in the x-axis has something to do with the multiplicity. So, ang definition ng multiplicity is about the number of times a root appeared. Ilang beses nag-appear ang inyong root. Saba, dalawa, tatlo, apat, and so on. The line may pass through, it may bounce, and sometimes it squiggles. If a root appeared once, isang beses lang nag-appear yung root or yung value ng x natin or yung x-intercept, isang beses lang siyang nag-appear, Okay, the line will just pass through the x-axis. Mabilis lang siyang magpa-pass through. Isang diretsyong daan lang. If a root appeared twice, okay, dalawang beses siya nag-appear, the line will bounce on the x-axis. Hindi siya lalagpas, magba-bounce lang siya. So, kung galing siya sa taas, magba-bounce din. Pagdikit niya sa uh, x in, sa point na yon aakit na lang siya bigla. At ito pa yung example. Galing siya sa baba. Okay, let me just get the marker. Galing siya dito. Umakyat. Pagdating niya sa point na to, diretso siyang baba. Nag-bounce lang siya. Hindi siya lumagpas. Okay, remember na pag isang beses nag-appear, magpa-pass through or lalagpas. Pero pag dalawang beses siya nag-appear, magba-bounce lang. If a root appeared an odd number of times, ano yung odd numbers? 3, 5, 7, 9, the line will pass through, but it will squiggle or flatten. So pag tinignan nyo dito, Ito yung example. Nag-pass through nga siya, kaya lang lumapat siya ng konti. So, kung mas mataas yung um, ilang beses nag-appear, mas nag-flatten siya. At saka magpa-pass through. If a root appeared an even number of times, ano-ano yung even number of times? 4, 6, 8, Okay, sabi dyan, the line will squiggle and bounce. Ito yung example natin. Okay, galing siya sa baba, pero dahil ang kanyang um, root nag-appear ng even number of times, mas mataas pa sa 2. Like 4, 6, 8, dumalapad siya, pero mag-bounce pa rin siya pa baba. Hindi siya magpa-pass through. Okay, so tandaan niya yung ganong um, examples or ganong um, movements ng ating line sa x-axis. So, kailan siya magpa-pass through ng mabilis? Kapag isang beses lang nag-appear. Kapag dalawang beses nag-appear yung root, dalawang beses na ulit, magba-bounce siya. So, kung galing sa taas, tapak sa x-axis, akyat agad. O kaya kung galing siya sa baba, tapat sa x-axis or Tatama sa x-axis, baba agad. Ngayon, kapag odd number of times, magpa-pass through, pero mahihiga ng konti sa line or dun sa point. Pag even naman, magba-bounce nga siya, pero magigi, mag, 
magta-touch siya or magpa-flatten ng konti dun sa point. Okay? Or dun sa um, value ng x. So, thank you for watching the video. At sana pa-like, pa-share na rin, at saka subscribe for new videos. And kung may mga friends kayo na same level sa grade 10, pwede nyong i-share. Para at least may, may matutunan naman kayo in these times. Thank you and God bless.